to my channel, Diva Side of the MUA. So, um, I posted a picture on my Facebook page uh, with me using the Milk of Magnesia on my face as a primer. So, I'm going to go ahead and explain um, what that product is and how it works and what skin types that this product should be used on and just some application tips and um, just to show you what the product looks like on the face and how you apply it. So stay tuned for that. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. All right, ladies. Well, welcome back. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, explain to you uh, about this beauty secret um, that I'm going to go ahead and share with you, which is using the Milk of Magnesia. Um, for oily skin prior to applying your foundation. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and talk about is the different types of the Milk of Magnesia as far as brands and which one you should be using uh, when you uh, want to use uh, apply this product. So the first thing is the most common brand, which is the Philips brand right here. Um, this one is the original, which is the one you should only be using. Um, they do have other flavors. Um, I don't know what other ones they got. I think I saw a cherry and maybe a mint. So you only want to use the original. So don't be, don't go and get like the bubblegum flavor or whatever grape flavor or cherry or mint. You're only going to use the original. Okay. Um, so that right there so that's this one this one is six dollars from your local drugstore cvs walgreens rite aid you can get them anywhere target walmart now a lot of stores have their name brand and those work just as good so save some money you don't have to get the phillips brand um that's the most commonly used one um, this one right here is the one that I use, which is the Milk of Magnesia from the Dollar Tree. This was $1, and this is the original right here. And um, this is the one that I use, and also this is the one that I use on my clients right here. So this is the original, and uh, I'm not going to stress enough, please, please don't get any other flavors. Original, original, original. I'm going to write it down below in the, the in the description box. Only get original. Okay? And so, um, this particular product is actually used for, for you to digest for somebody who is constipated. Unfortunately, I've never had to use this product um, in my life so far, thus far. Um, but the um, active ingredient here is magnesium hydroxide. So... I'm not a doctor, so definitely check with your dermatologist to make sure this is a great product for you. And make sure if you're using on your clients to make sure that they're not allergic to any of the ingredients that are in this product, okay? So um, this product works for me. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work for everyone. I've had people who say that it doesn't work for them or, or it didn't last as long. Um, this product is going to last you, I would say, a good six hours, which in oil land world, if you're an oily diva land world, that's like wonderful. It's not going to last you 24 hours without some shine coming through. I would say a good six, well, five to six hours. I've tested it out. I've used this product for over a year, probably a year and a half without any problems. Um, and I also use it on my clients, which they love. Okay, so in the next segment, I want to go ahead and go into um, showing you how I apply this product and what you use to apply this product, okay? Okay, welcome back. So, um, so what I'm going to do is show you how I apply the Milk of Venesia. Um, Now, a lot of people, um, when they use this brand, let me grab my other one. Um, when they use it, a lot of people will take the cap off and dab, and dab it in there. They do that. I like to put mine in a little travel bottle that I have right here. Um, it carries around easily. I can throw it in my purse or whatnot. And also, it's a little just you know discreet. You know, you don't be walking around with a big old bottle like this in your purse or uh, in your makeup kit. 
Um, so this looks a, a little lot better. I got this from Target. They have different colors or whatnot. Um, and the one thing that you do want to do is you want to shake it up. So you really want to shake this product up because um, once it sits for a while, it does start to clump up. I know when I first started using it, I put in a spray bottle thinking that was kind of neat or whatever, but it actually clumped up in the spray bottle. So in the um, straw that was in the spray, um, spray bottle. So you want to go ahead and just shake this bad boy up really, really good because it will settle and it does thicken up. It gets really, it's product gets thick. I don't know what ingredient makes it thick. So you're going to go ahead and take a cotton ball just like this and just turn it like that just let it soak up in the cotton ball like so and then you take right there there's the uh, product on there it's just a white white product it doesn't really doesn't have a smell at all that's the first time me trying to smell it but yeah it doesn't have a smell so you're gonna go ahead and just dab it and you use it or put it in areas that you are oily at. Most people are oily in their T-zone area. Uh, me, I'm oily all over. So you're going to go ahead and dab it in all the areas that you are oily in. My main area is my nose and right around here. And my forehead and pretty much my whole face. So it goes everywhere. And I just put it on. Um, you don't need to put it on sparingly. You just, you can just use as much as you need to use. Um, it's not gonna hurt you to use um, a lot. So, okay, so I go ahead and I put this on. A lot of people like to rub it in. I just dab it on. I don't know if rubbing it in is gonna make a difference. And I just put it everywhere, especially the nose. That's like my number one area. I like to have a matte face. So, um, so the product is on. Once it dries, it's going to get really, really white, really white. So you're going to let it sit on your face a good two, two minutes. If that, you don't want it to be um, watery on your face before you apply your foundation. So you wanna make sure it's really, really dry all over. And so you just go ahead and just let it dry. And so I'm gonna let it go ahead and sit on my face. And as you can probably see, it's already um, drying up as we speak. And you can feel it pulling, pulling the oil out of your skin, out of your pores, pores because your um, face is going to tighten up. Your skin on your face is tightening up because it's sucking up all the oils out of the pores of your face. All right, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and um, let this okay. dry. So now it has dried and this is what it should look like. It may be different on certain people. It may not be all over the face. It looks like a white mask. Um, it's not thick um, and actually you can rub it and it's not gonna come off. Um, so it should be uh, dry right about now. I'm feeling okay it's dry so um so now that it's dry so now you're ready to apply your foundation so yeah this is gonna be covered up right just like this I this is what I do every single time I want to apply my foundation this can also be used with tinted moisturizers you're probably not going to use as much because the product won't be thick enough to cover up the white part it's not heavy, this is like light. This is not one of those masks where you let it sit on your face, a thick mask. It's very thin, it's a thin mask. Um, it's what I have right now on my face. I know it looks kind of crazy, um, but this is what we gotta do, ladies. If you have oily skin, I mean, when I found out about this product, I was super excited because I spent years battling my oil. This was like a aha moment or whatever you want to call it. This was like, oh my God, I found something that actually works and it works great in the summer. Right now it's the summer months. I live in Florida, it's humid. This is perfect. Um, I can be outside and not look like, like you know, a bucket of Crisco or whatever. So yeah, 
I know, ladies, we've been battling, I'm speaking to the oily ladies, ladies. We've been battling oil like all our lives. The blot tissues, the little rice paper tissues or whatever to use to blot, you know, have those in your purse. Um, you know, different other products that people have probably tried to use that I've used. Um, this right here is a product, it's pretty much a staple in my kit and also in my own personal makeup bag, okay? So, with that being said, and also, okay, for the ladies who have dry skin, you know, you may have combination skin where certain areas are not oily. So, you would only use this product in areas that where you have oil or shine. And you may not use as much. So, I'm not saying that you need to look like this, you know, use as much as me. I'm not even over-exaggerating. This is exactly how much I use, um... You know, once you use the product, you kind of gauge on how much you need. This product will last a good, um, I want to say five to six hours. I tested it out. Around five to six hours, I did see a little oil shine through. And it all depends on what you're doing. You know, if, if you're running like, you know, at the gym. Of course, you, you know, sweat, that's going to bring on the oil. So, it all depends on what you're doing, where you're at, if you're outside or whatnot. So, yeah. So, this product, five to six hours. And for somebody who has oily skin, that's like the greatest thing ever to have five hours of no type of shine coming through. So, yeah. Definitely, I recommend this product. Um, in the next segment, I'm going to go ahead and show you... Um, me applying my foundation after I have applied this milk of magnesia. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and stay tuned. And um, thank you for watching. Bye, Bye. So I've applied the uh, my primer, which is my milk of magnesia. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply my foundation. Uh, right now, I'm really using the True Match L'Oreal uh, Super Blendable Makeup. This one is in Nub Brown um, C7 is what I'm using right now right now um a lot of times i do use the revlon color stay which is pretty much empty and caramel 400 this one is for combination oily skin i've been using it i've been using this for years but now this past month i've been using this so i've been buying this right here this is what i've been using um thus far so I'm going to go ahead and apply that, just put on the back of my hand, like so. This product is a medium to full coverage. So this is a full coverage, medium to full, more on the full side because it's really thick. So you know, I'm taking my flat top angle brush that I got from eBay and um, dabbing that here and just go ahead and apply like so. And you can see that it's covering up the white stuff so the white the milk of magnesia is not thick so it's not gonna be hard to cover it up and uh, so yeah going ahead and applying that all over 